Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom WooCommerce product archive page using Elemental Loop Builder. So this method will help you design dynamic, attractive product listing page which will not only looks great but also functionality and seamless for your customer so let's get started with the video at first i will upload some woocommerce products so if you already have a uh, store your uh, uploaded your woocommerce product so here just going to this product part and i have already uploaded some uh, product and this product i will delete it so here are some uh, product i have already uploaded so now let's create a loop item so we will start heading over the elementor just going to elementor elementor click uh, elementor under the theme builder where you can create and the template for your woocommerce product so here the theme builder this is actually a lock uh, i will use um, elementor uh, pro version so in order to do now go to the template option and going to theme builder so uh, right now i have uh, upload uh, elementor pro version that's why i will uh, i can use all those stuffs here as you can see the loop item the click this loop item so here uh, i will announce the one more thing uh, that is it's very important so if you are thinking of using elementor for your website i will highly recommend to getting uh, ligament version of elementor pro so it's packed with the features that uh, will allow to build your truly dynamic page like uh, we will create uh, we will create right now so warning i will uh, i will give you a warning about the null elementor plugin so if you are use null elementor plugin for your client website or if you are actually uh, used for your uh, main business website so now uh, i know some people may uh, consider using null version of elementor which is essentially for cracked and pirated version of plugin so i want to strongly advise against this because we um, will uh, while uh, it might seem like uh, like quick fix to avoid paying the elementor pro use the null plugin you can uh, you have to be serious about it so always make sure you are using genuine plugin and ensure your website remains secure and fast and professional so uh, again if you want to get elementor pro use my affiliate link down below and support that this channel uh, is win-win okay so now let's create the loop item so click this loop item and click here add new once you open this interface just click this gear icon and here i will go to the preview settings so preview settings like uh, uh, first uh, uh, previously we will choose this uh, simple product to visual how it uh, will appear like if i go to this gear icon and uh, just uh, uh, a gear icon and preview setting i will uh, weight will be 255 and the previous specific item i will select this product and which product i will actually uh, appear uh, is visually from here like i will select lenovo lem i have already uploaded some product like lenovo uh, laptops product so these are the product and here i will click apply and preview and once more thing is important that is query and click this uh, uh, gear icon and click this query so you if you don't select this one you will not uh, you actually this uh, whole tax or whole job will not uh, perfectly work and click this product and click apply our settings are completely done now uh, let's come to the style the loop item so here we will design uh, we will uh, we can get creative uh, with design so you just click this uh, plus icon and click this uh, one column structure and first here uh, you will just make sure that that product image should be clickable so when your user click on it uh, take a product uh, it will redirect to the product page first here i will take a feature image like this are the feature image i'm just take and drag and drop it over here and you can uh, you can uh, do this uh, but but feature image not showing is over here right now but it later it will show but don't worry so here uh, what i will do just click this custom url and here the dynamic tag would be post url done so now uh, what you're gonna do the first here uh, we can add a title that is product title i will set it over here uh, no uh, product title product title we can set it uh, before image or after image what actually uh, you actually uh, what actually you need design that is up to you and 
this click uh, link also be uh, clickable in order to do just click this gear icon and these are the post url so link are already been uh, already been linkable and now uh, we will drag this another option that is price and these are the price uh, where is the price so this is a product price just drag and drop it over here so these are the product this is pri uh, price uh, design and click add to cart all right so all the design are done so it will be auto and button design actually not good over here it's showing very disgusting and awkward quantity so here i will set it this uh, i will remove the quantity option and these are the add to cart button so here you can change the title over here just typography will be this and font white will be 400 or 500 all right so title uh, add to cart it's this add to cart going to be centered position all right so this title also be centered position image and this price okay so you can uh, set it a uh, style for this price that's going to style and uh, price style and going to the typography you can set it this one and price the sale price and this price so uh, these are the sell price so here uh, the main price i will i will change the color that would be red so these are the red, uh, these are the price actually but sell price i will delete this one uh, delete color that is red color uh, it's not work but so you can change this only one color Okay, these are the sell price but this uh, this one is not work right now over here but i will this change the color of the sell price all right or you can change it to this um, primary theme color so all right so it's been set and here i will also change the typography all done so this one this one should be changed and this typography need to increase okay so all are done uh, just click the publish button so now create the product archive page in order to do now we have to set up the loop item in the in the uh, in the shop page or anywhere actually you want to display so here i will exit the uh, wordpress dashboard and go back to wordpress dashboard click the space option and click add new page so now uh, uh, here we will create the new archive page so here the uh, put the name that would be all product and click publish and click publish so we can either set a pre-designed template using loop item create over here so here uh, we will set a pre-template a pre-designed template or use a loop item so here what you're gonna do just uh, just search loop item so loop grid loop carousel loop post so these are not working okay uh, okay this will be uh, this is the correct one okay so choose your template so my template is the product template and the product template name what some our product template name was just go back to wordpress dashboard and again and going to template option and click save template click all so here are the design the name is elementor loop item just search elementor loop item template these are the template and all product is showing actually from my design and just query option you will just latest product uh, or query, query is done but latest option latest post all are done how many uh, column you, you, you will actually show uh, uh, per page you can set it over here i will show uh, four uh, four product and item how many uh, item is show in this page and uh, later i will delete this one but first we have to do that is going to woocommerce 
I will just redesign some one more thing. This uh, draft post, I will delete it and go back to your WordPress dashboard again and refresh this page. So this Elementor uh, archive page actually would be. Uh, these are the custom design. Right now we have uh, designed it. So uh, here you are. After this, um, uh, this is the final twist of the uh, and publish. Just click the publish option and here some preview settings okay so you can do it uh, by a specific page like I, I i done this the specific that is uh, this all product option all product page this is all product page so how we can uh, do it the shop page so just going to this shop page and click edit right now shop page let's move forward to the another page but similarly similarly you can um, do this uh, stuff like you just drag this loop item and uh, select your uh, design and it, it will show okay so that's all for today's tutorial I hope you hope this guide help you to create a perfect uh, custom WooCommerce product archive page for your store so if you found this video is very helpful be sure to like comment and subscribe to more uh, content like this and if you have uh, any query or question feel free to drop them in the description or uh, comment below so thanks for watching I will see you in the next one